Ken yeah. Ken Olam? Who's travel. This is yeah, some so one, stable a physicist, science fiction. Professor. But physicists study this because it teaches yes. us something. Oh wow, with the same guy. Fundamental about time. How do you see time same interviewer. travel and what does it teach us? Yeah, it's always well, the same guy. The question is, is, is it possible to go back into the past? In physics, we say, can thing. there be a closed no, time-like curve, yeah, closed yeah. time-like path, meaning that you are always going into the future, locally where you are, so you live your life in a normal way, but somehow you travel Let's around in jobs. a loop, a return loop. to the place that you were before, seeing an earlier or later version of yourself. You're always going into the um, future, my We'd dude. like to know if this can be done, because of course everyone is interested in it, but also if it can be Yo, done... the future is holding me back. We face a very serious yeah, challenge. Yeah, not the past. How to make my the my future is holding me back. In the universe me. where time travel is possible. If time travel is not possible, if it's not possible to travel backward and interact with yourself, then um, things are straightforward. If time travel is possible, we have to know how do you resolve... It is straightforward. That's that's exactly what I, what we're talking about. It's fucking straightforward, bro. It's super straightforward. Paradoxes of time travel. But Paradoxes people got to come up with knows. quantum foam. Give me the quantum foam dance. Woo! Quantum foam. Come on, bro. bro I got the main air dab. Foam dance, bro. Kill your grandfather, and then <laughs> what happens to you? Yes, yeah, so then you've killed your grandfather. Yeah. You're not born. You don't go back and kill your grandfather. Uh, science fiction has dealt with this in many ways. Science Physics fiction. would have to make sense of it. And so far, no attempt at making sense of this type of, par of paradox has succeeded. So it will be easier from the point of view of making sense of it if the thing can't happen no, in the first place. No attempt at making sense of it. This is <laughs> the kind of thing that I. Would no one can even make a sense of the paradox. Not even let's. We can't even make a the sense of a paradox that they're giving us. But we can build the time machine, baby. Woo! Yeah. Let's get it. And uh, uh, how, how can we take that forward? In other words, what are some of the uh, the people who say that you can do time travel? Uh, for example, making time uh, another dimension of time. We have three dimensions of space. We know from Einstein that space and time are the same thing. It's a space time. So have three dimensions of space and one of time. Space Why don't we have two dimensions of time? Thing. Solves the problem. So I couldn't say much about <laughs> multiple dimensions of time. <laughs> Uh, but in regard to uh, general relativity, uh, Einstein's theory of space and time and gravity, indeed, um, the presence of matter, the presence of pressure, the presence of momentum, these things change the shape of space and time. And that's the particular aspect of this that I study. Is it possible? We know it's possible to change the shape of space and time. It's good you know, for out. example, that sitting here on the surface of the Earth, the shape of space and time is somewhat different. And so time passes for us a little bit more slowly than if would if we do ask and this will then All right. physical universe. All right, Ken. Looking like a homeless. That's Ken. That's how it, that's how it is then. You're watching Izzy and Ibra TV.